Hello, everybody, and welcome to our webinar today. My name is Michael Siggins, and I am the publisher of Channel Pro. Channel Pro produces a website, events, and a monthly magazine for managed service providers and IT integrators. Our mission is to provide you with the information, insights, and resources that you need to run a more successful business. Today's webinar is a perfect example of that kind of info to help you in your business. Our topic today is Better Together, the 365 Partner Opportunity, and it's presented today by Stratus Cloud Alliance, powered by Velocio. Our guests today are Chris Harris, Managing Consultant at Velocio, and Scott May, Director of Channel Programs at Velocio. Before I turn things over to them, a few quick housekeeping items. Please get involved. We always encourage your feedback and questions. It makes for a better experience for everybody today. Audience members can ask questions via the Q&A module down at the bottom of your browser. We will follow up with additional info and the link to the recording and to the slides tomorrow. All right, now I'm gonna turn things over to our presenters. Scott and Chris, please take it away. Well, thanks, Michael. I certainly appreciate it. Thanks everyone for attending today. Wanted to start out just real quick with uh, kind of an overview of our agenda. So today, what you're going to learn about are the benefits of leveraging the Dynamics 365 sales professional solution and the market opportunity for Dynamics 365 how to increase your current Azure and Office 365 practice revenue by adding Dynamics 365 you know, to your practice. We're gonna discuss you know, who is Velocio and what is our Stratos Cloud Alliance partner program and how's it gonna help you and what resources you know, are available to you and how we can help you go through and get started. Uh, but before we do that, I wanna go through and just throw up a quick poll question. So if we could go ahead and throw that up and we'll take uh, 30 seconds or so to complete that. And while you're doing that, I'll go through and introduce, uh, you know, our Dynamics 365 presenter today is gonna be Chris Harris. Uh, Chris is a Dynamics 365 consulting manager uh, with Stratos Cloud Alliance and Velocio. He has 20 plus years of CRM consulting experience working with clients in multiple industries and has a specialization in uh, sales and customer service process automation. Uh, Chris has an extensive experience as a functional architect, business analyst, CRM trainer, and project manager for Dynamics 365. He also has significant previous experience with other industry leading CRM tools such as Salesforce, Sugar CRM, and Goldmine. So with that, I will go ahead and turn the floor over at this point to Chris. Chris, the floor is yours. Great, thanks Scott for that great introduction. I hope I can live up to that today. Um, and just taking a look at the, the poll results here, uh, it looks like uh, many of you, um, not quite sure yet if uh, you consider becoming an indirect or a direct CSP partner to offer Microsoft Dynamics 365 solutions, but um, certainly we're gonna show you the market today for it and uh, the solution that Microsoft has out there for you to take advantage of it. And uh, certainly Scott will follow up with the details today. And, and hopefully, if you're not sure yet, it will be uh, after we're done. So we'll close that out. And uh, I should have control here now. And you know where we'll start today in, in really talking about Dynamics 365 for sales professional is really with the market. Um, and what, uh, what really CEOs are focusing on. And, and certainly, we will start with the um, with digital transformation. And I'm sure many of you, especially those of you selling Office 365 and other Microsoft services have, have heard all about digital transformation. And if you're not talking to your customers about it, then you know, your, your uh, competition probably is. So, you know, it's definitely a conversation you wanna have. As you can see, you know, this is uh, an actual survey from Pricewaterhouse of CEOs. And again, you know, digital transformation really is their number one priority. Um, and really these top five reasons here for uh, digital service transforming really customer engagement as we know it um, and, and really to help really empower their employees in particular their sellers. Um, uh, the other part with the Internet of Things, certainly, um, you know, we talk about Internet of Things, which are really your devices, right, your phones, your tablets. Um, laptops, really anything connected, and um, certainly a big part of that digital transformation. Um, and, and then really improving the, the customer experience. Um, you know, that is becoming something that's really 
um, you know, really eclipsing really product and price uh, for, for that matter. And uh, that uh, really being able to enhance your experience is, is really going to, to uh, really serve the customer of today. Um, and really customer engagement, I think, you know, a lot of you would know that it's an ongoing commitment. And uh, certainly the, um, you know, being part of that with the sales professional solution we've talked about will certainly help you, um, uh, you know, and help your customers uh, manage that ongoing commitment. Um, you know, just some uh, statistics down here, uh, you know, just about the sheer number of uh, devices we start talking about, um, you know, certainly digital transformation and the internet of things, right? Two billion active social media accounts, um, and probably a lot more now in the current environment that we're in, you know, a lot of people getting started on that, whether they're, they're consumers or businesses. Uh, certainly uh, billions of active internet users. Um, as of 2018, you know, 2.4 billion uh, smart devices. And you know, right now that projection, uh, of course, you know, multiply that uh, certainly, um, you know, by multiples to 80 billion connected, inter you know, IoT devices by 2025. Um, and so you can see how that market's going to explode. Um, and then, you know, within 10 years, we're going to see that, uh, you know, the number of connected devices jump and exponentially. And especially with, you know, new technology like 5G that's going to revolutionize really our internet bandwidth and ability to link things. So, um, you know, you, you, you can see how, you know, that's really that the market is really uh, going to explode over the next few years. Oops, I got a little ahead of myself. Let's go back here. All right, so let's talk about really the opportunity for, for CRM types of products. And we'll start with the really the overall addressable market and then we'll kind of narrow it down to, you know, what's gonna make sense I think for this audience. So you, you look at really last year, the addressable market for CRM products, uh, you know, you're, you'll see that it's you know, 119 billion. And really for, for sales business applications, um, you know, there was a $13 billion market for that. So, you know, given what we just looked at in the last slide and, and the projected growth, you know, you, you're, you're going to see a 45% growth of that, $173 billion, and of course, another $18.2 billion um, that just for sales business applications. So a huge market uh, to take advantage of and to enhance your business. Now, the why should you care what's in it for me of that market we just talked about for the SMB market, that total addressable market is about uh, 6 billion. And of that 6 billion, about, about half of that is uh, just for CRM alone. And um, as you can see, uh, on looking at the competition uh, here, there are, um, of course, uh, other vendors taking advantage of that. Certainly, the one we see in the market uh, the most is, is Salesforce. Uh, but a huge market there. And then you can see, um, really, from a digital transformation standpoint and moving from uh, traditional on-premise solutions to online, um, you know, looking at a 13% year-over-year um, increase of, uh, you know, of moving to the cloud. So again, a, a huge market, even an SMB, for you to take advantage of um, for, uh, for getting your customers into the digital transformation and, and uh, especially moving them from uh, on-premise solutions to online. So Microsoft uh, so what solutions for this is Dynamics 365 for sales. And I think specifically, certainly for this group, a great way to start is Dynamics 365 for sales professional, uh, which really gives you a, a, a good suite of tools uh, to, to really help your, uh, your customers uh, really sell smarter, build stronger relationships, and, and being more productive. Uh, you know, selling smarter through um, especially AI-driven insights, um, really being able to unify your, uh, your, your Office 365 customers, Dynamics 365, and, um, and, and LinkedIn data. Uh, we'll talk more about, um, you know, how all this all integrates together with uh, really emerging technologies like Teams and then, of course, things that uh, they're already using like Microsoft Office. Um, of course, you see building stronger relationships with uh, Teams and Outlook. Uh, being able to really access and combine that customer data, and then productivity. 
right? Um, really um, being able to free up sellers' time by streamlining the tools that they're using um, to uh, to really collaborate, whether it's Teams, Word, SharePoint, Excel, um, and really any of that Office suite. So um, actually, the the graphic that you're seeing here is actually a, a Dynamics 365 sales professional. Um, a screen here actually embedded within Teams, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, but uh, that's just one example of uh, some of the Office 365 uh, integration. So again, let's talk about Office 365 and, and of course, you know, dynamic CRM better together. Um, you know, again, the, the tight integration with the Office 365 uh, suite, whether it's uh, Teams, Microsoft Office, um, and other pieces, uh, SharePoint, uh, OneDrive, uh, Power BI, uh, that tight integration, again, allows them to, to really, number one, uh, ease of setup. So it's really just uh, it's spinning up an instance right off of an existing Office 365 tenant or a new one. Um, that familiar user experience. Right, being able to um, to use the tools they're familiar with, whether it's Microsoft Word, it's uh, Microsoft Outlook, it's Teams. Uh, you know, again, you know all the pieces of Office 365 they're used to in a familiar interface. Um, anytime, anywhere access, of course, with the cloud, they can access uh, from really anywhere they have um, internet access, whether that's a, of course a computer, a phone, uh, a laptop, or or uh, other devices. Uh, of course, a flexible, extensible platform. Um, the, certainly, there's plenty of out-of-the-box capability, but uh, with the, the, the ability to custom configure uh, the, um, the tools out of the box to, to, for their, your customers to match their work streams and workflows, um, really pr uh, presents a, a platform that, uh, that will take a lot of technical expertise to, to configure. It's a click-to-configure system. Uh, but it is extensible by uh, custom development if you need more sophisticated uh, functionality. And then, of course, with um, the insights and analytics, the, with the tool, there's a, you know, plenty of um, out-of-the-box dashboarding, uh, reporting, um, analytics with uh, sales insights um, and, uh, and other AI tools to uh, help visualize the data. But uh, again, a great extension of, uh, for your Office 365 customers uh, to, uh, to leverage this tool. So taking a look at, again, some other examples of really how to increase sales productivity with Office 365, this really gives you a nice visual of all the Office 365 uh, tools that, uh, that, are, that are integrated with um, uh, with uh, Dynamics 365 for sales. And the way we're visualizing here is really taking it through um, kind of a default sales cycle uh, for your for the sellers. So um, we've got really our, our stages of our sale here from qualify to develop, propose, and close. And if we really you know, follow our, our seller here, they can certainly use the uh, uh, Outlook uh, app on their phone and actually track an incoming email back to Office to uh, Dynamics 365. Um, being able to use the embedded, uh, of course, Teams app to follow up with the lead. Um, they're using the, the uh, OneNote integration to take notes while, of course, visiting a customer. Um, and then, of course, you know, using their mobile device through Teams to actually update the, the deal uh, through the Teams app. Uh, of course, using um, OneDrive to, to cover relevant documents. Um, we get to our proposed stage now. We're actually creating our proposal and collaborating using um, uh, Outlook and certainly, uh, you know, being able to also use Word and the SharePoint integration to create our proposal. Um, and then, you know, closing things out, we can use, uh, of course, Dynamics 365 for sales to generate the quote and, uh, and sharing that out, you know, with the customer, uh, you know, through Outlook or you can actually send email directly from Dynamics 365 itself. And then uh, really great analytics and tools to manage your pipeline, uh, whether that's through the dashboarding or you can see with the uh, Excel integration, we can um, then push and leverage that data uh, out to, uh, to Excel. And, and that's either Excel online or, or Excel on your desktop as well to manage that pipeline. 
So really good examples of you know, that tight integration and being able to show your customers how uh, they'll be able to, to really leverage this tool with you know, many of the tools they're already using with Office 365. Um, just some, some more um, shots here to, to really help drive home the integration and really, again, focusing on what's more important and tailor interactions with customers. And it's, it really kind of focuses on the Outlook integration. The Outlook integration actually allows you to uh, take email messages incoming and outgoing and actually link them back uh, to, to records within Dynamics 365 to, to really start building that um, consolidated view of interactions with all the customers within an account. Um, we'll also allow you to, uh, to synchronize any contacts from Outlook um, as well as interact with uh, Dynamics 365 for sales within the Outlook uh, platform. Um, again, getting you know, guided uh, uh, guidance towards optimal outcomes. Again, the integration with Teams, um, you can actually create channels that, uh, um, that allow you to put uh, Dynamics 365 for sales, um, actual opportunities or accounts in within a team in the page so you can share and collaborate uh, with uh, people on Teams and internally. And then of course, getting actionable insights, again, you know, more Teams integration here uh, to, uh, to look at analytics and, and share that out with uh, either teams and groups within your organization, the organization or your customers. So again, you know, especially in a time like this where, you know, the teams, um, uh, use of teams is, is uh, of course, exploding exponentially uh, with the current environment we're in, uh, knowing that, you know, currently you can uh, actually integrate this with Dynamics 365 for sales is a, another great use case. And let's see here. I can, here we go. All right, well, so kind of continuing down that path, let's talk about really streamlining your sell, the seller's workflows. So again, you know, using Teams to collaborate on a deal um, in, in that Teams workspace. And then of course, um, creating and editing documents to share, and that's all part of it. And then of course, being able to work on the go. So there's uh, apps that, um, uh, you know, certainly you can download from uh, your app store for your phone and for your tablet, and you can see plenty of analytics here to manage your pipeline and, of course, you know, uh, manage your customer, can manage your customers on the go. Let's see if we can get this slide to turn here. I think we can. There we go. So the, the great part, especially with sales professional, um, and particularly for this market, it's about starting with what you need. So with sales professional, there's a really, uh, there's a, a, a guided setup that uh, certainly there are uh, services for, for you to help your customer with to get up and running very quickly. Um, and you can see also the, um, the application itself um, you can configure for your customer's very specific sales processes. And again, uh, this is really click to configure. So a lot, what you're seeing on your screen here is really configuration um, using the, the tools that come with the application and really no uh, development uh, necessary uh, for getting them up and running. Uh, again, extensible by, um, you know, scripting and custom development through their API if you, if you want, but um, again, to get them up and running. Uh, custom configuration uh, will usually do the trick. Um, and then, of course, the, the um, platform to, to grow their business with. Um, and this is great for, you know, kind of land and expand. So you can get the customer started with some basic out of the box, um, you know, sales pipeline management tools and account management tools. Um, and then, you know, once they get comfortable, then you can use that to, to expand their use and expand the uh, extensibility of the tool uh, to really match their business needs. All right, here we go. All right, and now for, uh, you know, more customer evidence that uh, the, the, the platform is a leader in the market. Um, again, there's from uh, the uh, Forrester group here, um, you can see, that the Microsoft solution is among the leaders 
especially with you know our, our chief competition uh, Salesforce and Oracle here, and to give your customers the confidence that you know they are buying a uh, really best in breed leader in the market solution. So I want to show you a little bit about how really Dynamics 365 for sales fits within the Microsoft Dynamics 365 ecosystem. Uh, so it's part of, a, of course, a, a larger system that, uh, um, of course, has uh, sales and marketing solutions, customer service, uh, uh, field service, customer insights for analytics, and then, of course, uh, you know, part of an entire suite of ERP tools itself. And of course, is really embedded within the Office 365 uh, suite. And then you can see, again, all the other uh, surrounding tools uh, that are all part of that ecosystem with Power Apps, Power Automate, um, for those of you that are already work with the Power Platform, um, and is all part of the common data service. And as the, the common data service grows, that'll also open up um, uh, certainly more integration opportunities. And of course, for the customer, you know, they can uh, consume these uh, pieces all in modules. So they can start with the sales module and then you can certainly expand um, them out, you know, as their needs grow. And so in this side really represents the customer engagement um, uh, side of, uh, of, of course, uh, Dynamics 365. And then this represents, of course, our, our ERP side. Um, of course, uh, from an analytics standpoint, uh, Cortana Intelligence, Power BI, uh, part, of course, Azure uh, Internet of Things as well. And then, of course, uh, with Azure, it, it leverages many for its insights, um, you know, machine learning, um, certainly bots are an emerging piece. And then, of course, app source for uh, add-on solutions uh, that uh, you can leverage as well for uh, those that, uh, that don't quite fit the need out of the box. All right. So, um, you know, we start talking about how we can position this with uh, your customer base. And so here's some real tips on really typical advantage of using really a CRM in, you know, the SMB space. Um, and if we really talk about here from really at a summary level, of course, visibility of the pipeline and your forecast, uh, of course, you know, um, really creating a consistent sales process and, and discipline with your sellers uh, to follow that process. And then of course, uh, the, uh, you know, shared contact and account data to manage, um, you know, your, your customers and that customer experience. Uh, simplified sales or email and calendar connections. So with the Outlook integration, uh, you know, being able to use those tools that they're already using. And then, of course, um, you know, planning and prioritizing tools, using scheduling and being more efficient with their time with the productivity tools that are, are really within the application. And obviously, you know, the, the mobility um, that comes along with the, the mobile applications. So really, you know, benefits of, of all these pieces here from a sales aspect, right? Helping your, their sellers uncover and close, you know, more deals focusing on really uh, high potential or high net worth customers. Um, from a customer satisfaction standpoint, delivering on your, on, you know, your promises uh, that their sellers make and then, of course, providing really fast turnaround times. And then, you know, cutting costs, being able to actually sell more with less. And that's whether that's, you know, fewer traveling sellers or uh, reduced staff. You know, those, these are really some of the key benefits that uh, the system's going to bring. So from, um, you know, again, you know, really more advantages um, you can take advantage of here, right? Closing more deals, uncovering opportunities, uh, focusing you know, the resources on your highest potential pursuits, uh, telling them to coordinate internal, you know, pre-sales teams, um, upsell, cross-sell, that's a really big, uh, you know, advantage of these systems from, again, from a customer satisfaction standpoint, um, optimizing the sales process with the customer in mind, and that's being able to use segmentation um, and preferences within the system. Uh, of course, you know, uh, speed to order with availability, faster turnaround times. And then from a cost standpoint, you know, again, delivering that same volume uh, with, with uh, you know, fewer staff and doing more with less. Um, lowering your, your sales support cost, uh, reducing your, your you know, T&E expenses, and, and really maintaining those relationships, um, using it through personalized electronic communications, which you can leverage through some of the email functions within the system.
So um, to really help get you started, I, I've kind of given you a few, you know, a little bit more ammo here uh, to kind of summarize some of this with your, your elevator pitch. Really, again, your, your target audience and people you really should be talking to, which might be different from some of the people you're talking to now. You know, you want to start with, really with, um, you know, your sales leadership, whether that's a VP or sales manager or whoever that happens to be. Um, also, you know, depending on the size, the operation, if there's a sales operations folks, I'm going to pull in then. And of course, your influencers, uh, which, you know, typically, you know, of course, certainly, you know, um, see your, uh, well, depending on the size, CMO, CFO, or CIO. Um, but, uh, you know, from a, a really a benefit standpoint, really some three key things to focus on, really helping sellers close more deals with actionable insights. We've kind of talked about what those pieces are in the slides above, um, focusing on the right opportunities and contacts. And, you know, again, being able to combine that data from LinkedIn, um, Office 365 and Dynamics 365, um, helping you do that. And then optimizing that seller productivity, again, being able to use familiar tools in a consolidated fashion, um, all integrated, uh, are really key benefits. Um, for some conversation starters, some real quick questions here. How are you, or are your organization, are you extracting value from the relationship data that you already have? So this is, again, about data consolidation, leveraging the data you have, and getting that complete picture of your their buyers. So. Uh, especially being able to leverage all that from their existing platforms, a huge selling point. Um, how much time are they selling, you know, spending on routine, routine repetitive tasks? Uh, again, you know, being able to use the, the system to help um, consolidate and, of course, uh, optimize those processes and make them more consistent. And then, of course, uh, have your cost escalated beyond the initial quote. Are you able to right size the usage? And what this is all about is, you know, being able to manage your licensing. And so with the licensing model, um, with this, you know, product, um, you can true up or true down every year. So if you need more licenses, you can always add um, or, and, or, you know, reduce it if you need. So they're, they're only going to pay for what they need. So, and again, I think uh, they've already put this in the chat. You know, this, this deck will be available uh, after the uh, presentation. Um, certainly for uh, any questions you have. Um, also got a, a, just a few other things you can start with, um, of course, uh, having that open conversation. You know, talk about, you know, how decision making is changing, right? Um, you know, it's, of course, um, you know, millennials now are involved in the, in the majority of those, the decision making. And, you know, for, you, know, you can use this system to start really, you know, tracking who's making those decisions and, and you know, how to engage with them. Um, being able to give your sellers really the best proactive tools. Uh, you can talk about that. We kind of talked about that a little bit before. Um, you know, really talk about how you can consolidate those tools. You know, a lot of sellers now are using multiple tools, whether it's Excel and, you know, another system here, another system there. This really gives them the opportunity to talk about, you know, what those disconnected tools are and how you can consolidate that with the system. Um, forecasting. You know, you know, a lot of places either have little forecasting or the forecasting they're doing is wrong. Uh, you know, Dynamics 365 for sales, a great way to really get that into a streamlined, consistent process. And then, of course, you know, we've talked about, you know, of course, uh, giving your sellers the, the, uh, the right tools um, to, uh, you know, spend right uh, just to help uh, uh, eliminate, uh, you know, repetitive tasks and to uh, be able to get them information quickly. So we're going to uh, kind of wrap up with uh, talking about the, the different versions. Uh, now we've focused on sales professional because it's a great way, um, you know, for, for customers who've never really had a CRM system or, or those who are looking for to, to move platforms uh, to really uh, get into the, um, the, the, uh, the system with, um, you know, the, the core functions that they need. So you can see that really are, are, are three uh, core SKUs here our sales professional, sales enterprise, and Microsoft relationship sales, uh, which is really an embedded solution with, uh, with uh, LinkedIn uh, Navigator and that integration together. So you can see here with sales professional, you know, core functions with uh, lead and opportunity management, uh, products and price lists, quotes, orders, and invoices, um, 
And then you can see some other key pieces from the analytical standpoint. Obviously, the Office 365 integration, um, you know, the reporting and analysis with Excel and the real-time dashboards. Um, now, there is some limitation on customization, but for, for most customers, that's, you know, you, you, that's going to be a good start for them to get them going. All right, uh, so I, I want to turn it over back to Scott now, and uh, again, we'll take questions at the end of the uh, session, but uh, I hope you got some value out of that, and Scott, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Great. Well, thanks, Chris. That certainly is a lot of valuable information, and uh, you know, appreciate uh, you covering that for us. I'd like to now really move into reviewing you know, how partners can get into Dynamics 365 to the Stratos Cloud Alliance, uh, you know, which is our indirect CSP partner program for Microsoft business applications. But, you know, before that, then Chris, if you turn that back over to me, I'll go through and forward the slides. Yep. Um, we have one quick uh, poll question, which uh, if everybody could take a minute to go through and answer the next poll question, which is, you know, are you currently a Microsoft direct or indirect CSP reseller today? And then we'll go ahead and uh, continue to move on. So if you, Take a minute to go through and complete that, or 30 seconds here, and then we'll quickly move forward so we can wrap up and have some time for Q&A. All right, so we'll go ahead and just uh, you know move forward here. Um, you know, as uh, you can see from uh, you know Chris's presentation, you know businesses are demanding you know cloud-based solutions. Uh, you know, today more than ever, especially with what we've got going on and, you know, just some more fuel for the, you know, the compounded annual growth rate projection for, you know, business applications market, you know, based upon a recent uh, market to markets research study, you know, the growth rate is going to be between 21 and 24 percent. And that was over the next four years that they had based upon. And that's not considering even what's going on, you know, in today's world. So, you know, as you can see, there's certainly plenty of, you know, opportunity within the, you know, addressable market of companies in the one to 250 employee size range. You know, the projection on that is 4.7 billion for, you know, ERP and accounting and 5.7 billion, you know, within the CRM space. And, you know, that's not even to mention the growth opportunity with, you know, the power platform. Uh, and Azure, which are, you know, basically exploding, you know, because of today's situation. So, you know, the IDC predicts that the uh, greater cloud spending will exceed 500 billion in 2020, which I think will definitely exceed, you know, and currently 72% of customers are currently leveraging, you know, cloud for their, you know, application from basic pilot programs to, of course, you know, production applications. So, you know, the bottom line here is there's tremendous opportunity, you know, for uh, MSP partners, uh, you know, to go through and get involved with Dynamics 365 and to continue to build, you know, additional cloud revenue streams. Um, but, you know, the, the issue is you've got to go through and, you know, get started now uh, because uh, it's moving rather rapidly at this point. So, you know, this basically is what we refer to as our IP staircase. And what it demonstrates is really the, the levels of value that, uh, you know, partners can add by adding Dynamics 365 and packaging or bundling apps and services into their solutions. So, you know, Office 365, of course, provides just a small portion of the, the potential Microsoft Cloud revenue opportunity. You know, but for a lot of partners, it's, you know, their base pillar, if you will, since it's so dominant and pervasive, especially in today's market. You know, next on the staircase is, uh, you know, the Microsoft Business Application Services. And the <clears throat> base uh, business functionality customers get from one or more of the Dynamics 365 services. You know, bundling the basics of, you know, one Microsoft really begins the process of building and sustaining, you know, reoccurring revenue streams. and. You can certainly do this by uh, adding, you know, your ongoing support uh, to the monthly cost of your package. Uh, however, to, to really add to your monthly recurring revenue and margin, you know, you'll need to add additional functionality through, you know, AppSource and Azure ISVs, uh, and ideally, you know, being able to leverage your own IP that you package into that. 
you know, whether that's technical, you know, bits and bytes or specific, you know, industry domain and processes uh, and expertise, you know, that you bring to the table. Certainly leveraging all three of the Microsoft clouds, you know, Modern Office, Azure, and Dynamics 365, you know, with your clients will significantly increase, you know, your customer stickiness, uh, you know, revenues, and your overall profitability. So really our goal here at Stratos Cloud Alliance is to help forward-thinking partners uh, like yourself to expand into all three Microsoft Clouds. You know, improve your margins, you know, drive your growth while, you know, elevating, you know, client services and satisfaction. Now, building a Dynamics 365 practice, of course, you know, it does come with some challenges. Um, we wouldn't deny that. You know, while we at Stratos Cloud Alliance work side by side with our partners, you know, we give you the benefit of our, our real world experience uh, and expertise. And there are a number of challenges that, uh, you know, we see partners face uh, that we try and help our partners overcome. You know, the first is, you know, shifting your typical sales relationships from, you know, kind of that CIO IT role to, you know, the rest of the C-suite in an organization. And that certainly doesn't come, you know, easy or overnight, you know, training your sales team to speak line of business issues instead of, you know, IT or back office uh, certainly is a, a key to success. So taking advantage of, you know, Stratus Cloud Alliance's pre-sales and sales resources uh, can certainly help you overcome those challenges. Implementing Dynamics 365 is a lot different than, you know, Office or Azure. You know, new skills are going to be needed both in Dynamics 365 and in how to manage, a, you know, business applications, you know, consulting engagement. Um, Stratos Cloud Alliance actually offers continual training programs, you know, for you and your team to take advantage of, you know, beyond the uh, resources that Microsoft actually provides. You're not going to take an Office 365 consultant either and turn him or her you know, into a Dynamics 365 consultant overnight. So the good news there is, you know, our insight and services team, you know, are here to help you and their resources that you can actually utilize, you know, while you're building your practice. And finally, in today's hyper-competitive environment, you know, really defining your value proposition and solution differentiation, uh, you know, is paramount to your success and being able to scale. And SCA has relationships with more than 150 of the most predominant Dynamics third-party solutions, you know, which help extend and individualize Dynamics 365, you know, into specific industries and businesses and vertical markets. So we can actually help you build that differentiation that separates you in the market space. So Stratos Cloud Alliance, powered by Velocio, is actually one of uh, Microsoft's most tenured Dynamics indirect providers in North America. You know, for more than 30 years, we've been working with Dynamics in all of its forms and flavors. You know, since 2010, we've actually been working with partners through our Dynamics Master of Our program, which helped partners build and scale their Dynamics on-premise business. You know, as the first North American indirect provider that's truly focused on Dynamics 365 solutions, you know, we're helping indirect CSP partners build and scale their own you know, Dynamics 365 practice through Stratos Cloud Alliance partner programs. The SCA, as we call it, you know, it provides a deep focus on business solutions, specifically all flavors of Dynamics 365, from, as Chris was mentioning, sales professional and sales enterprise, to finance and operations, business central, power platform, and everything in between. So our program is really designed to guide you through the process of building or scaling your Dynamics 365 business, you know, helping provide you with the best in class e-commerce part commerce capabilities, which is our Stratos hub, and surrounding you with the, you know, the expertise of more than 10,000 plus implementations. So what Stratos offers to, you know, our partners, um, as I mentioned, we have our Stratos Hub, which is our best-in-class order management and billing platform, which helps you manage all of your CSP, you know, clients, uh, licenses, invoicing, ordering, and automated provisioning. Uh, we also provide incentives and reward programs on top of actually what Microsoft has available. Uh, we, of course, provide a full suite of Dynamics 365 
ISV products that sit on top of sales professional or um, you know, business central or finance and operation. And those are all available in our you know, marketplace for ordering. We have managed uh, ERP and hosting solutions as well as you know, package service implementation offerings uh, that you can sell as a partner. We have light label services that you know, we can provide and support uh, to your clients that you can make a margin on uh, that go under your brand. Uh, we certainly provide a lot of partner enablement and product training uh, on an ongoing basis and we'll continue to do that. Uh, we work with our partners to do cloud practice planning with your partner development and cloud sales strategy, as well as uh, you know, we can help with building a hosting platform or actually building out a cloud service offering as we're one of Microsoft's ISV ready to go development centers for Dynamics 365. So the value to your customers, of course, is uh, you know by working with us and getting into Dynamics 365, they're going to have a comprehensive Microsoft Cloud solution offering, you know, including Dynamics 365, Office, the Power Platform, Azure. Uh, you know, we have Microsoft 365 implementation training and support services that you can you know offer if you're not doing that already. Power BI and the Power Platform. Uh, managed IT and infrastructure service, a wide array of uh, ISV products that we mentioned, uh, prepackaged implementation service offerings, not only on Dynamics 365, uh, but in all three of the Microsoft cloud areas. And we also offer uh, you know, client success support offerings that you can go through and resell to your clients and make a margin on. For you as a partner, you know, we provide a streamlined CSP, you know, and marketplace onboarding process to get you up to speed quickly in selling Dynamics 365. You also get a dedicated partner development manager onboarding and partner enablement team. You know, they're there to work with you to help you through the process of building your Dynamics 365 practice. You know, we assist with the licensing and the management of Microsoft discounting and incentive programs. We certainly provide high margins and low operational costs to get started. Um, you'll have access to our Stratos Hub Marketplace, our knowledge base, our partner portal, uh, as well as you know, marketing enablement, uh, including opportunity and deal support if needed. Uh, we certainly provide a lot of D365 enablement and practice development resources, including partner enablement training and, and training programs, as you'll see. So, you know, let's say you decided, you know, to uh, add a Dynamics 365 aisle to your practice. You know, the, the question is, you know, how do you go about doing that? And really here at Stratus Cloud Alliance, we offer you several options. You know, we know there are partners that are out there who would like to add Dynamics to their business, but, you know, quite frankly, they want to, you know, outsource the entire aisle. They want someone to stock it, merchandise it, sell it to their customers. You know, and, and we have a lot of partners that are in this category. They have legacy Dynamics on-premise clients or Office 365 clients, um, and, you know, and those clients expressed interest in D365, but the partners aren't interested in building out basically their own uh, aisle of practice. So our referral program really provides a simple and convenient way to outsource your entry into D365. You know, SCA handles the entire sales process as well as implementation for you. And you'll earn margins both on licensing as well as services on the business generated from your customers with really little to no uh, you know, investment at all. You know, another partner option is you know, to have someone like a, a Sherpa that's going to work with you to guide you through the process. And you know, you know, to invest, but uh, you know, be cautious about it because you don't have a lot of D365 expertise. You know, these partners want to step into their investment as their sales really increase. And SCA has a program for that as well. You know, our engagement team helps guide them through, you know, training and other resources to help them build their knowledge on Dynamics 365. You know, and they can utilize a professional services team to help, you know, sell and implement until their team is actually certified and ready to go. You know, they can leverage our uh, pre-sales and solution architects. You know, they'll work with your sales team to help guide you through the discovery, demo, and proposal phases. And then finally, we know there are partners out there who are already, you know, doing D365 and have a practice, 
or they're ready to go through and build one, you know, as soon as possible. You know, these partners are really all in. They want to ramp up as quickly as they can. So SCA, you know, helps those partners with marketing and enablement programs to scale their dynamics business quicker. You know, they leverage our resources to help them train new consultants, you know, learn about new ISV solutions for Dynamics 365, take advantage of our 30 plus years in experience in implementing the Dynamics solutions. You know, they want to increase their margins and take advantage of our e-commerce platforms for, you know, um, billing and, and CSP management that's easy and effective. And, and they really value having an indirect provider who knows the difference between the Dynamics 365, you know, CSP SKUs and can help them put together a total solution with, you know, ISVs, customizations, and, you know, Dynamics 365 solutions. So, you know, really whatever path uh, you decide to take, you know, to add Dynamics 365 to your practice, you know, the Stratus Cloud Alliance has a program that, that fits you. And remember, there isn't likely an issue that you've faced that we haven't. You know, after 30 plus years of doing Dynamics, we've seen probably just about everything. You know, as I mentioned before, and Chris had mentioned, we do have uh, packaged implementation service offerings that you can sell and white label through us. And this one is specifically for Dynamics 365 sales. Uh, and there's different versions of that. There's, you know, kind of the basic essential, there's a premium version, and there's a premium plus. And these are all packaged implementations that are pre-configured, uh, fixed fee cost, uh, so that it's easy to go out there and sell that to your customer. And then we come in and are able to deliver that and be able to uh, help you make a margin, you know, on the services as well. As I had mentioned, we do do a lot of uh, partner enablement. So these are just a few of the upcoming uh, SCA and Microsoft Dynamics 365 training and enablement opportunities. We have actually a D365 sales training coming up in uh, you know, the mid part of April that we're doing. It runs noon to 3 p.m. on the 9th, 14th, and 17th. Uh, we have a couple D365 Business Central training courses, one that uh, we call BC Booster that's starting in April and runs through June. It's really a complete program to get an individual up to speed to be a business central application consultant, either with the essentials versions uh, or the premium version. And then we're doing an update on the uh, BC release wave one training for our partners, which uh, is the spring release of Dynamics 365. Keep all our partners up to speed on uh, you know, what's new and great about the new releases. We are a, a big power, power platform partner. We actually do a lot of power platform training directly for Microsoft, but these are some of the courses that we're doing specifically for our partners coming up. We've got a dashboard in a day training course. Uh, we're planning on doing another application in the day training course. And we've got the cloud ascent sales training, which we're doing coming up in April as well to help uh, our partners take advantage of uh, you know, all the opportunities with Dynamics 365. So, you know, while we know there are many factors, of course, that go into launching a, a Dynamics 365 practice, you know, for sure one of them is, of course, you know, how much can I make? So from this quick eye chart, you can see that depending upon whether you outsource your aisle or you go all in, your margins can range from 8 to 28%, you know, through the Stratus Cloud Alliance Partner Program. And certainly, as we've been discussing, there are other components of our program just beyond margin, of course. But for sure, we know, you know, that's a primary driver for all of us in our decision making. So if you are interested, certainly an SCA business development manager can walk you through each program and what's included in the levels in more detail. So, you know, our main point here is, you know, with everything changing and, and rapidly going through and increasing, uh, there are many opportunities to build additional revenue streams with Dynamics 365. You know, the time to go through and start is really now. And, you know, all of it, however, first starts with, you know, what we call a plan and the SCA action plan. That's really where we work through with our partners and identify the key steps in your journey, you know, to help you, you know, complete the tasks that are needed, if you will, um, get you access to the resources that are available. 
and really help guide you, if you will, you know, through the process of, of being able to get into Dynamics 365. You know, there's a definite shift in our industry, you know, and basically it's being accelerated right now because of what's going on within the world. And so, you know, our question is, you know, are you looking forward or are you holding on to the past? You know, your clients, your clients' businesses, you know, are constantly looking forward and need to, and they have to try and anticipate, you know, uh, market situations, you know, economics, income, expenses. You know, are you looking forward with them? to help them succeed or looking backwards to just provide reactive services that most of your competitors can you know, also provide. So really in today's you know, environment, growing your business means not only shifting to the cloud and a reoccurring revenue model, you know, but also working with your clients to leverage all three Microsoft clouds, you know, the modern workplace, Azure, and certainly Dynamics 365. And we here at Stratus Cloud Alliance can, you know, help you with, you know, all of those Microsoft Cloud areas. So in closing, I'd just like to go through and say thank you for the time that you spent with us today. Hopefully you found it valuable. We would certainly look forward to working with you as a Stratos Cloud Alliance partner. And if you would like to become a partner, please contact me. So Michael, that's our presentation for today. So I think we've got some time. We can open it up for some uh, Q&A. Awesome, thanks. Great information, gentlemen. All right, we do have questions coming in. A reminder that there is a Q&A section in your browser window. Click down below and send in the questions. All right, so um, first up is, what is the D365 sales professional ownership cost structure? Is that something that we'll cover today? Um, I mean, the cost structure, we can go through and kind of take that offline. I mean, there's different, uh, you know, versions of the Dynamics 365 sales SKU. Uh, it depends if you're running a, you know, on-premise version and want to move into that. But certainly, uh, if someone's interested in looking at the cost of any of the D365 solutions, uh, you know, we can go through and, and have a conversation about that. All right, uh, next up, how fast can I really go to market with Dynamics 365 with the indirect partner model? Well, I mean, we can have partners up and running and set up within a marketplace and able to go through and track transact licenses, uh, you know, within a day. So it really depends upon, uh, you know, kind of you know, what level that you want to get involved with, you know, if you're ready to transact or have opportunities, we can work with you to turn that around quickly. Um, in order to get up to speed, you know, with, you know, being able to deliver the implementation services, obviously that takes a little longer to go through and get the training required to be able to do that. Um, but uh, just transacting, we can get partners up and running uh, very quickly. Okay. Uh, if I've got uh, D365 CRM skills on staff, uh, but I need help with uh, Dynamics 365 ERP, can Stratos support me? Oh, most certainly. Yeah, we work with most partners who have one area of expertise, whether it's CRM or maybe they have ERP experience, and then they leverage our resources to help support them or augment, uh, you know, their services in the other areas that they do not have the expertise in. And that's really, you know, what we're here to do. There's not, you know, a right way or a wrong way that you work with us. We really kind of work with partners where they're at in their partner journey uh, and help them to go through and uh, you know get the services they need, whether they're planning on developing that internally themselves over time, or if they're just basically you know not going to do that, want to leverage us on an ongoing basis for you know any areas of expertise that uh, they don't have on staff. Okay, and we are getting a couple of questions about the recording uh, and the slides, and the answer to that is yes. We will send those out most likely tomorrow. And some other questions, people asking for direct follow-up, and we do have your information, and uh, uh, someone on Scott's team will handle that follow-up uh, probably later this week. I All right, the, next up. I, I did see one question, Michael, you know, that was what is Stratos's geographic footprint? And just to answer that, basically, we are an indirect provider authorized by Microsoft uh, in the U.S. Uh, so we've actually got partners throughout, um, you know, North America. But for the indirect CSP partner program, uh, we're authorized, you know, in the U.S. at this point. 
Okay, excellent. And uh, next up, is it difficult to move from a, a direct partner model to an indirect? No, it's not. Microsoft actually just came out with an announcement where they're making that you know even easier to go through and be able to move you know from their direct CSP model to you know an indirect model um, without basically much uh, you know difficulty on our part, the partner's part, and certainly not any on the, the client's part at all. All right. And we've done that with a lot of partners who have joined with us who, you know, some have originally started to work with us just for Dynamics 365 uh, and then decided to move their other CSP, you know, over to us. Um, so, you know, you can be with multiple indirect providers and have CSP licenses with us as well as other indirect providers. And, and we, you know, work in that scenario as well. All right, can a partner be associated uh, to multiple indirect providers? Yep, yep, we have uh, that situation uh, in a lot of the partners. So you can have multiple indirect providers and you know, clients can actually even have multiple you know, indirect partners that they work with for you know, different you know, CSP licenses. So it's uh, definitely a different world within the the cloud uh, CSP you know, workplace model. All right, and uh, okay, so it looks like those are all the questions. Do you want to do a, a wrap up or any parting advice for us, Scott and Chris? Well, I'd just like to say thanks again to everybody. Um, certainly, there's a lot of opportunity within you know the cloud, specifically within Dynamics 365, and uh, if you're interested in getting involved with that. Uh, we'd love to be able to work with you and, and help you get started. And uh, I just, this is Chris, I just want to thank everybody for their time and attention today. Really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, definitely look into Dynamics 365 for sales um, and Office 365 together. All right, excellent. Well, thank you, everybody. And we greatly appreciate uh, our audience today taking time out for this. And we hope you all have a, um, a very safe day today. And uh, again, we'll be following up with additional information. From everybody here at the Channel Pro team, thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. And we're going to wrap up now. Okay, bye-bye.